Hey guys, it's Joanne. Um, how is everybody tonight? Um, I have some happy mail here I want to show you from a very good friend of mine. Uh, but I also want to get... Just hang on one second. I wrote down some things I want to... Sorry guys, didn't expect that. Um, but I did write some things down to talk about. I figured this would be a little happy mail and chit chat. <clears throat> um, I received a surprise happy mail package today from Lisa Bowsret. And normally, normally I open them before I show them, but this one just kind of made me laugh when I open it because uh, she had posted on one of her videos that she had some some like trim and that that she didn't want and I was like oh me me pick me and she picked me and I got this and it's, it's like all intertwined intertwined so I figured I would try and open this on camera and see how it goes because it reminds me of something. As you see all these little owls tucked in and all this. So I guess, Lisa, thank you very much. I have to unwind all of this to get to the goodies inside. So I'm going to do that. And this actually reminds me of, we go to a party every year at Christmas time for my husband's company. And one of the girls there takes, um, it's a saran ball. And there's all kinds of different things wrapped up in the saran, the saran wrap. And you have, um, I don't know what she gives you, maybe 20 seconds, 30 seconds tops to unwrap. And see, look, as I'm unwrapping, this little owl here, he fell out. So in the saran ball at the company party is, um candy, um, candy, I guess like little, little trinkets, little party trinkets, but there's also like fireballs and like little, little, like little, like you get them on the airplane, the little, you know, the little alcohol bottles. So you try and unwrap as much as you can to get to that fireball. So that's kind of what this reminds me of as I unwrap and I'm getting to all these owls. I don't know, Lisa, is there a fireball in the middle of this? So I think the only way to do it is to unwrap all this. So I have gotten some tips on videos from Mandy's Place. Um, I am in her Happy Mail collaboration and I had to add her thumbnail to my video and I had no idea how to do that. So she had uh, told me there's another app you can download, the YouTube Studio app. And you can do so much more with that app, guys, with adding to your videos. Um, so, all right, look, oh, this is all purple. Oh, Lisa, I hope you're enjoying this. Because once I figure out how to add your your link to my video, I am going to do that. Uh, all right, hang on because now we're stuck and I can't figure out how to open any more. I don't want to cut this. All right, just, oh, here's the end. Okay, all right, you did good. Kind of picked up where the other one left off. So we're just gonna keep unwrapping and this just gives me more to do tomorrow when I have to put everything away. And let me tell you, it has been nice out and tomorrow is supposed to be nice so we have a lot of things to do in the yard tomorrow and I want to get some things done throughout the house tomorrow I bought some new um, things for the kitchen uh, salt and pepper shaker so uh, soap dispenser spoon rest um, another thing in this this new like blue, it's like a bluish, I don't know, this new blue color that's really popular. 
So now I feel I have to redo my whole kitchen. I think I need to go out and get some pot holders and dish towels that match all that. So we're going to do that. And we're still unwrapping the pink. But this is awesome. Um, <clears throat> the one thing I don't have a lot of in my stash, and I think I have just about everything, is this trim. And this is awesome. This is so awesome. Lisa, I thank you so much for all this hard work that I have to put in. Okay, now we're on to the yellow. All right, hang on, guys. Because, all right, maybe, oh, here we go. And I believe this is the eyelash trim. And I don't have any of this. Oh, my God. Lisa, thank you. I love you. I love you. And this is such a perfect color because it will go with everything. So, let's see. What else are we doing here tonight? Um... Not much. Um, my son has a friend sleeping over. They wanted to go to a baseball game tonight. And he mentioned this baseball game last week and then never spoke of it again. But the baseball team, I guess it's an A team. Um, it's called the Blue Claws. The Lakewood Blue Claws. But it's still about an hour away from my house. And... He's 14, so I don't feel comfortable just dropping him off and leaving him at the game. So, you know, I told him he couldn't go to the game with his friend. After he apparently planned it all out. And, oh my gosh, look at this pile. Ooh, I love it. Um, so he planned it all out with his friend, but I... Uh, so whatever we picked the friend up I picked him up on my way home from work and he oh I love this look at this hang on guys um so now his friend's sleeping over so they're actually outside right now playing basketball and doing all this now look at this this is I don't know I don't think this is eyelash trim it might be but look at it goes into the different colors it's like a yellow to a blue to a purple oh my god here we go let's see and then back to the yellow and then the green and the blue and the purple oh this is awesome all right so what else guys i think my craft room very soon is going to be revamped again uh, this was my daughter's bedroom. She moved out. I moved all my craft stuff in. Um, I was in the garage. And to be honest, I didn't go out there too much because the garage was just, it was set up nice, but it was just, it wasn't inviting. So when my daughter moved out, we moved all my craft stuff into her room, but we also kept it as, um, half, um, guest room. So there's a day bed in here, which to be honest with you, just gathers my crap until I can find something to do with it. So originally back in January, we had discussed moving back to our old town. And that was mainly, well, mainly because like our best friends live two houses down and, and my son, you know, he didn't like it here when he first moved and, and that. But with everything that's going on, or which everything that's happened, it's just not going to time out right. So we decided that we were going to stay here. But to stay here, my husband wants his garage. Uh, in our garage, we have a lot of exercise equipment that we really don't use, but we should use. But we don't. But, um... So the plan is to, now that we're going to stay here, and my son's making so many friends here, so I don't think, like, I haven't actually told him that we're not moving back, but he hasn't seen those kids in two years, and he's making a lot of friends here, and I think it's going to be okay. Uh, so now in this room, we plan to take out the day bed, get rid of that, because honestly, nobody sleeps over, and if they do... It's Kyle's friends, and they sleep in his room. And if we were to have any family over or that, you know, we have plenty of blow-up mattresses, or they can sleep in the living room on the couches. So 
why waste um, the space in here? So we're gonna take out the bed, bring the exercise equipment into here, and give my husband his garage because that will make him happy. Uh, it'll probably change, well, maybe not change too much in here, but I'll have to reorganize and move things around a little bit and figure out a better way to do things. But it's okay, it's what we do, right? We make changes, we move on, everything's fine. Um, and like that's a topic I wanted to bring up because when we when we originally talked about moving back to the old neighborhood it was mainly for my son so like what do we do as parents do we move our like do we focus so much on our kids that we don't see the big picture we don't see what's best for us we try and see what's best for them to keep them happy I remember when I was a kid, my parents moved us. Um, I was, we moved from one town that I grew up in, and it was sixth grade that we moved to the new town. And it was hard. It was really hard. But my parents, they didn't care what we thought. They didn't care about us. It was what was best for them. And, you know, they wanted to move to a new, new neighborhood, a better neighborhood. And we hated it as kids. It was me and my two younger brothers. But I really don't think my parents took that into consideration when they moved. Um, do we nowadays, in our generation of parents, like take our kids, not our kids' happiness, because we all want our kids to be happy and we will do whatever we can to make them happy. But do we take their... Oh, uh, you know, do we, oh, mom, I don't want to move. Oh, mom, I hate it here. Do like, do we worry about that when we make our life decisions that we as parents know are best for our family, best for our financial situation, best for, you know, whatever, you know, are we bad because we're not thinking about the kids? I don't know. I just, I definitely think like my parents' generation and our gener like me as a parent, it's completely different, and it's almost as if um, me as a parent, we want to befriend our kids, and we do. We want to be friends with our kids. We want them to be happy, um, but I can't tell you, like when I was a kid growing up, I can't tell you a time that my parents really hung out with us and played with us and... I think like my generation of kids, they always need to be entertained. And if you can't, like they always want you to be focused on them. Oh, look what I'm doing. Look, 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 look. Um, I know it's different. And look, I'm still unraveling Lisa's thing. But as I'm talking, I didn't want to, I didn't want to break into my conversation. But look at this. Look at this trim. Again. All the rainbow. This is absolutely awesome. I love this. I go into the stores and, well, I went into Michael's not too long ago and I was trying to find trim. I like that pom-pom trim that everybody's using. And I actually just ordered some on from AliExpress. Although I didn't really want to do that. I wanted to double check on Wish and see if they had it. Because Wish seems to come in quicker than AliExpress. And I don't know. So look, Lisa, because of you, this video is so long and I'm still unraveling. But I guess I'm chit-chatting. I'm in a good mood tonight. The weather is broken. It's actually feeling like spring outside. Although it's very foggy right now. I was looking at me through the window. I'm telling you, he knows I have this YouTube channel, but he doesn't know the name of it. And he takes my phone so often that all he has to do, if he knows anything, he's on YouTube all the time. All he has to do is click on his YouTube, click on my little icon on top, and everything will come up. Okay, so I got through all the, all the trim. Lisa, thank you so much. Oh my God, I cannot wait to use it. So she also sent me a, what are these called? Wands. Look at this. It's so pretty. Um, 
Oh, it says love. Very nice. Thank you, Lisa. And then, oh, and then she sent me some napkins. Remember, napkins were a big thing. Oh, and these have the bird. I love birds. Oh my God, guys, I can sit outside in the early morning when you hear all the birds and they're flying around. I could just sit out there all morning and just listen to the birds. Oh, look at this napkin. It's scalloped. That's pretty neat. Let's see. Let's see. Oh, oh, there's two. Hang on. So when you open it, oh goodness, guys, it looks like a flower. Look at that. Wow, that's really cool. I can't wait to use that. Lisa, thank you for that. You're an awesome lady. And then she also sent me surprise birthday girl. Aw. Here's a clip. And look at that. Sunglasses on there. I like that. I love taking these paper clips and turning them into something else. Well, they're still, no, they're not paper clips. They're clothespins. But I love taking the clothespins and decorating them and just turning them into something else. So it looks like a flip book. So birthday girl, happy. Oh, sorry. Sorry. Surprise. Birthday girl. And it has a little pocket inside. Oh, look. Wait, 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 wait. Okay, so it opens and then it flips down. So let's see. Oh, here. To a cool chick. Yep, that's me. I'm cool, all right. <gasps> you know what, guys? I was, it wasn't this video, it was my last video where I was talking about how, um, I like flamingos so much. Did I mention that previously to that? Because I haven't even uploaded that video yet. Um, but here, look. But look. Look, 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 look. Oh, all right. Flamingos. This card says play. And these stickers here look flamingo, pineapple, and oh, hummingbird. And I have to tell you, I just filled my hummingbird feeders last weekend, but they have not arrived yet. But they're coming soon, so I hear. And then we have this side that says, celebrate the happiness that friends are always giving. Make every day a holiday and celebrate just living. Um, I guess that's a quote from Amanda Bradley. And again, flamingos. Oh, Lisa, how did you know? I must, did I mention it? You couldn't have possibly known. Oh, and look up along the bottom. I see no reason to act my age. I definitely don't act my age. Maybe sometimes I do, but I try not to. And then we have this page here. It says celebrate more flamingos. Well, you know what? If I did if I did mention it previously, she really pays attention to my videos and that that's that means a lot to me. Another flamingo. Oh, Lisa, Lisa, Lisa. Like Lisa Lisa in the Colt Jam. You guys know what I'm talking about? There's another flamingo says hello friend this is really cute it's um like file folders that she put together this one has my name joanne wow this is really special happy birthday oh that's awesome that is so awesome i love her um i am gonna tag uh Lisa's channel in this video so please check her out check her out she's just a funny fun um, she loves to craft she has a great heart um, and she's really special so I will end this video now and I have to get some 
things done tonight. I have an embellishment box I have to send out in the mail tomorrow. I have a pocket letter I have to send out in the mail tomorrow. And some other just silly fun things that I want to try and work on. So thank you guys for watching. Please subscribe. Please tell all your friends about me. Um, I do plan on doing a giveaway when I reach 100 subscribers. I'm not sure how I'm going to do it yet. I've been watching a lot of videos on um, how people do their giveaways. So it'll definitely be fun and interactive. So please give me a watch. Um, I'm also on Instagram at Happy Mail Swapper. Um, I have some swaps going on there and I have a mail blast going on. So I'm always posting pictures and hosting different um, swaps and such there. Okay, um, you guys have a great night and I will talk to you soon. Bye-bye.